हेलो टू ऑल माय स्टोरी लवर्स वेलकम बैक इन स्टोरी टाइम चैनल आई एम पल्लवी रीडिंग इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरीज फॉर यू टुडे आई एम रीडिंग स्नो वाइट एंड द सेवन डॉफ्स नाउ लेट्स गो थ्रू इट वंस अपॉन अ टाइम इन अ ग्रेट कैसल अ प्रिंस डॉटर ग्रीव अप हैप्पी and contented in spite of jealous step mother she was very pretty with blue eyes and long black hair her skin was delicate and fair and so she was called snow white everyone was quite sure she would become very beautiful though her step mother was a weak woman she too was very beautiful and the magic mirror told her this every day whenever she asked it mirror mirror on the wall who is the loveliest lady in the land the reply was always you are your majesty until the dreadful day when she heard it say snow white is the loveliest in the land the step mother was furious and wild with jealousy began plotting to get rid of her rival calling one of her trusty servants she bribed him with a rich reward to take snow white into the forest far away from the castle then unseen he was to put her to death The greedy servant attracted to the reward agreed to do this deed and he led the innocent little girl away however when they came to a fatal spot the man's courage failed him and leaving snow white sitting beside a tree he mumbled an excuse and ran off snow white was all alone in the forest night came but the servant did not return snow white alone in the dark forest began to cry bitterly she thought she could feel terrible eyes spying on her and she heard strange sound and rustling that made her heart thump at last overcome by tiredness she fell asleep curled under a tree snow white slept fitfully wakening from time to time with a start and staring into the darkness round her several times she thought she felt something or somebody touch her as she slept at last dawn woke the forest to the song of the birds Snow White too awoke a whole world was stirring to life and the little girl was glad to see how silly her fears had been however the thick trees were like a wall round her and as she tried to find out where she was she came upon a path she walked along it hopefully on she walked till she came to clearing there stood a strange cottage with a tiny door tiny windows and a tiny chimney pot everything about the cottage was very much tinier than it ought to be snow white pushed the door open i wonder who lives here she said to herself peeping round the kitchen what tiny plates and spoons there must be seven of them the tables laid for seven people upstairs was a bedroom with seven neat little beds going back to the kitchen snow white had an idea i'll make them something to eat when they come home they will be glad to find a meal ready towards dusk seven tiny men 
march homeward singing but when they opened the door to their surprise they found a bowl of hot steaming soup on the table and the whole house speak and span upstairs was snow white and fast asleep on one of the beds the chief dwarf prodded her gently who are you he asked snow white told them her sad story and tears sprang to the dwarf's eyes then one of them said as he noisily blew his nose stay here with us hurray hurray they cheered dancing joyfully round the little girl the dwarf said to snow white you can live here and tend to the house while we were down the mine don't worry about your stepmother leaving you in the forest we love you and we will take care of you snow white gratefully accepted their hospitality and next morning the dwarf set off for work but they warned snow white not to open the door to strangers meanwhile the servant had returned to the castle with the heart of a roe deer he gave it to the cruel stepmother telling her it belonged to snow white so that he could claim the reward highly pleased the stepmother turned again to the magic mirror but her hopes were dashed for the mirror replied the loveliest in the land is still snow white who lives in the seven dwarfs cottage down in the forest the stepmother was beside herself with rage she must die she must die she screamed disguising herself as an old peasant woman she put a poison apple with the others in her basket then taking the quickest way into the forest she crossed the swamp at the edge of the trees she reached the bank unseen just as snow white stood waving goodbye to the seven dwarfs on their way to the mine snow white was in the kitchen when she heard the sack sound at the door knock knock who's there she called suspiciously remembering the dwarf's advice i am an old peasant woman selling apples came the reply i don't need any apples thank you she replied but they are beautiful apples and ever so juicy said the velvety voice from outside the door i am not supposed to open the door to anyone said the little girl who was reluctant to disobey her friends and quite right now good girl if you promise not to open up the stranger then of course you can't buy you are a good girl indeed then the old woman went on and as a reward for being good i am going to make you a gift of one of my apples without further thought snow white opened the door just a tiny crack to take the apple there now isn't that a nice apple snow white beat into the fruit and she did fell to the ground in a faint the effect of the terrible poison left her lifeless instantaneously now choking away the weak stepmother hurried off but as she ran back across the swamp she tripped and fell into the quicksand no one heard her cries for help and she disappeared without a trace meanwhile the dwarfs came out of the mine to find the sky had grown dark and stormy 
loud thunder echo through the valleys and streak of lightning rip the sky worried about snow white they ran as quickly as they could down the mountain to the cottage there they found snow white lying still and lifeless the poison apple by her side they did their best to bring her around but it was no use they wept and wept for a long time then they laid her on the bed of rose petals carried her into the forest and put her in the crystal coffin each day they laid a flower bed there then one evening they discover a strange young man admiring snow white's lovely face through the glass after listening to the story the prince for he was a prince made a suggestion if you allow me to take her to the castle i will call in a famous doctor to waken her from this peculiar sleep she is so lovely i would love to kiss her he did and as though by magic the prince kiss broke the spell to everyone's astonishment snow white opened her eyes she had amazingly come back to life now in love the prince asked snow white to marry him and the dwarfs reluctantly had to say goodbye to snow white from that day on snow white lived happily in a great castle but from time to time she was drawn back to visit the little cottage down in the forest do you like this story then comment in the comment section and subscribe our channel bye bye